Hi, hello. This is Femi Bijoy from Max Ninja. Today we can deal with question number 7 of the exercise, exercise 7.2. This problem is little bit interesting for you. I will read the question once. In a squared sheet, draw two triangles of equal areas such that the two triangles are congruent. Again, one more question is there. So, for that, again we should take one more squared sheet and we should show the two triangles of equal area and those two triangles are not congruent. Question number 2. For that, we have taken a squared sheet and we should construct two triangles here and we should show both the triangles have same area but the change is the triangles are not congruent. We should show these two triangles having same area but they are not congruent. So for that I am going to construct two triangles here. See, again I am drawing the diagonal for this square. So we got A, B, C as first triangle. Then again I am constructing, I am taking a point here and from B I am joining to B Now you can see Triangle ABC as first triangle and triangle BEC as second triangle. Okay. Now we are going to find out the areas of both these triangles. For that, what is the formula? Area of triangle ABC. Area of Triangle A, B, C equal to half the base into height equal to half. What is the base here? A, B, C. Base is B, C. Again, it is all the sides are 18 centimeter as in this previous problem. 18 centimeter. 18 centimeter I forgot to write the value all the sides are 18 centimeter so half the base base is BC again it is 18 into height what is the height of this triangle see AB is the height of this triangle and it is 18 centimeter so 9 into 18 162 cm square. Next we are going to find out the area of B E C. That's our second triangle. Area of triangle B E C equal to again same formula half the base into height. See, half, what is the base of, base of triangle B, E, C? Again, B, C itself is the base. So, 18 is its value. And what is the height of this triangle? See, if I am keeping the triangle like this over this, This line gives you the height of this triangle. This dotted line will give you the height of this triangle. What will be this? See, it will be same as if I am giving the name F here. EF should be equal to BC. Why? 
because it's a square and we had drawn a perpendicular line okay so ef is the height so i am i'm going to write down again 18 here so 9 into 18 again the value is 162 cm square so one part is over we had shown that these two triangles have equal areas we got the area of triangle abc and triangle bec are equal next we are going to check that these two triangles are congruent or not first we can check that can we apply sss criteria can you apply we cannot apply sss criteria because the sides are different values sides having different values so we cannot apply sss criteria next i am going to check can we apply sas criteria s a s criteria we are not having any angle in between two sides of equal sides we won't get like that so again we cannot apply a s a s criteria and again a s a criteria we are not having any equal angle so we cannot apply a s a criteria and the last criteria r s s criteria we got one right angle for the triangle abc here b is the right angle but in the other triangle b e c we are not having any right angle so again it's a flaw we cannot apply r h s criteria so definitely we can say that and from the picture itself it is clear that these two triangles are not congruent if you are cutting both these triangles it won't match exactly so these two triangles are not congruent this problem is having one more part we have to think about the perimeters of both these triangles in the first case we are going to find the perimeter of triangle abc that is ab plus bc plus ac that is 18 plus 18 plus the length of this diagonal and how to find the perimeter of the second triangle ad plus bc plus ac ac is the diagonal and it is common for both these triangles so perimeter will be same so i can write down same perimeter next we are going to check the perimeter of the second triangles see a b c is the first triangle and if we are finding the perimeter 18 plus 18 plus length of the diagonal but here for the next triangle only one side is common with triangle abc so the perimeter won't be same so we can write down different perimeter okay so what's our conclusion from this problem here we got two triangles of equal area these two triangles are congruent and are having same perimeter but in this case these two triangles are having same area but these two triangles are not congruent and they are not having same perimeter i hope you enjoyed my class what about this question do you enjoyed this question if you have any doubt about this please ask to me through comment box and if you are having any suggestion about my class please reply signing off amy bijoy from max ninjas